Like it or not, I'ma get to this bag and then head to the bank to let I started with nothing, I'm leaving with nothing So I'm tryna share everything that I got See, I done learn to be Gucci if I got a little I'm Gucci if I got a lot Learn they gon' hate me for who I am And they gon' hate me for who I am not So I gotta, uh, I cannot stick to the script Man, I'm putting a twist in the plot I gotta, uh, said it keep flicking the wrist To the grist getting sick in the pot See, it was all a dream till I realized That I was just sleeping a lot I saw if I wanted, then I had to sow it If my family was gon' reap from the crop Now I got him like, he looking In the early 1980s, BMW asked their motorsport division to develop the E30 for European touring car racing. The motorsport homologation rules in the 1980s stipulated that at least 5,000 road legal examples of a race car had to be sold within the first 12 months of manufacture in order for it to be allowed to race. This was the birth of the M3. The first iteration of the E30 M3 had a 200 horsepower, 2.3 litre, four cylinder, naturally aspirated engine that screamed all the way to 6,700 RPM. Its suspension components were optimised for the racetrack and to save weight, its front and rear bumpers, side skirts, boots and rear spoiler were all made of plastic. It was an amazing machine and to this day many regard the E30 M3 as the greatest driver's car that BMW ever made. As the years rolled forward, BMW's M3 became larger, heavier and more comfort oriented with the exception of the wonderful E46 M3 CSL and the E92 M3 GTS. Now the latest version of BMW's M3 is turbocharged, but it doesn't just have one turbocharger, it has two of them. This 2015 F80 M3 left BMW's plant with a 3 litre straight 6 twin turbocharged engine codename S55 and it produces 425 horsepower at the crank and believe me it's an absolute monster to drive. Now 425 horsepower is a lot of power for most owners but there are some owners that are totally insane. Thankfully, pure turbos can cater for the insane M3 or M4 owner. They make larger turbos for these cars that enable the car to produce over 800 horsepower at the wheels. Now I'm blessed to know one of these insane owners and I'm thankful for the opportunity that he's given me to drive his car. The F80 M3 isn't exactly known for having great traction, so I was sceptical about driving this car. As expected, if you're clumsy with the throttle, you'll spin the wheels from first all the way through to the end of third gear. However, if you're careful with the throttle, traction is a lot better than expected. Now rest assured, this car is fast with a capital F. <laughs> is rapid. You really have to scan the road ahead of you and make sure it's safe before you can put your foot down. Just going back in the first half roll. Whoa. Objects in the distance come at you so fast that they're right in front of you before you blink. We're into supercar territory here for 88 GTB, Huracan Performante, 911 Turbo, beware. In a rolling race, these cars would be in trouble. The supercars would be easier to drive though. It takes a lot of driver skill to get the best out of this M3. The car rides on KW Club Sport suspension, which is great. It's a lot better than stock. However, in all honesty, driving this car is more about managing the power rather than exploring the limits of the chassis. But this car is a complete and utter monster. This car, it is so fast and I stand by what I say. This car will give supercars a spanking. And this car, you know, it's too expensive to buy an F80 M3 or an M4. It's an expensive car. And then you've got to spend all that money on the modifications but it's still reachable for many people. It's aspirational. Hi guys, 
because now we're going to hear from Steve Samuel. He's the guy who orchestrated the build of this M3. He has a wealth of experience in the aftermarket BMW tuning scene. You've installed pure turbos on this car, right? Yes, we did install pure turbos, uh, stage 2 pluses uh, for this car, including uh, uh, full bolt on, uh, which is uh, that helps more flow uh, and also intakes uh, to keep the turbo breathing better. Uh, and then we custom tune in the car and fully 85. Uh, of course, we have to install an aftermarket system uh, for the fuel system to keep up with the fully 85 uh, okay. fuel. So, tell me some more about the fuel system. So the fuel system is basically stage 4 fuel system for fuel it. Uh, this is basically the best system ever been uh, available for this particular F80, uh, F80X, uh, M3, M4, M2. Uh, you could be able to run a fully 85 um, with this system basically and that will uh, help you to get a lot of power and especially when you upgrade to the uh, upgrading turbos the stock fuel system cannot really keep up with a stock fuel system because it's not much flow uh, that can keep up with the turbos uh, and then we added a port injection and that's basically a port injection means is a fuel rail added to intake side with the six, six injectors uh, is a 950 cc uh, that's basically uh, the second rail uh, plus the factory uh, injectors that come basically six injectors comes with the car so this car has six uh, basically I'm sorry uh, 12 injectors um, six basically is dark injection which is that's all the car comes with and then the other six we added on with a fuel rail uh, port injection to be able to put basically a lot of fuel uh, to keep making all the good power okay so is there an additional port injection controller yes sir the port injection split second basically a controller that control uh, the fuel uh, when it's gonna basically kick in uh, once you set it like 3 psi 5 6 ps uh, i would say like i think what we set it up at 5 psi after 5 psi the, the basically port injection will start shooting um, the fuel uh, uh, plus the actual direct injection uh, to help up the car keep up with it making up good power basically i would say Sounds awesome. And tell me about the, the tuning, because I'm, I'm assuming you can't use the stock BMW tuning. Oh yeah, the most important things for these cars is the tuning, custom tuning. So custom tuning can be, uh, was done by uh, uh, Kerry, uh, Kerry Tuned, uh, Jordan Tuned. Um, he's the best tuner, he's in, uh, in East Coast. Um, we do remotely tuning. Uh, what I do basically, I send him data logs and he look at it and then I say, okay Steve, we have to change some stuff. And we go through it, me and him basically, which is timing or boost or how the car is happy on full throttle. And then that's basically his job to, to keep up the car happy and keep up all the fuel trends, uh, basically timing and AFRs, uh, just to make sure everything's fine and healthy uh, through the data logs. So, uh, does anything need to be done to the engine for it to handle the additional power from the turbo? I personally, uh, I would say only the engine, S55 engine is pretty um, good, strong engine, uh, except only the problem with these engines is the crank up. Uh, most people, they make 600 horsepower, they spun the crank up. Um, what I recommend, just get basically upgrading the crank up for maximum PSI, which is, that's what we did uh, to this car. Uh, we got the crank up from maximum PSI up in New Jersey, and then we installed by uh, SSR Performance, uh, the shop in, uh, uh, Norris County they installed it for me um, the car was perfect uh, no problems and now we can shoot for 700 plus wheel horsepower with no issues um, this motor this motor is actually pretty strong than the old virgin motor which is the mft5 or mft4 uh, it's a closed deck uh, 3.0 liter um, can make like I have seen people making 780 790 wheel horsepower for the basically stock motor but you are risking it at that level i'm personally keeping the motor happy all the time about 700 wheel horsepower at low torque a little bit 
uh, just lower torque, not a lot of torque. That's so basically kills the motor is the torque. So we keep the motor happy. This car we dyno it uh, basically a 700 plus wheel horsepower and fully 85, about 29, 28 psi, uh, about 14 dynamic degrees basically. And um, that's it. Basically, the car is an animal that you don't need to get more power for these trees, especially in a daily daily driver car. says about 14 hours 12 to 14 hours to, to install the turbos uh, I took the car basically to uh, Proline Auto Care um, here in Southern California uh, they installed the turbo for me and then we also um, installed um, uh, Burger Motorsport um, oil, transmission oil pan to basically to add more uh, fluid uh, to the transmission to keep the fluid cool so because this car has still stock clutches which is they are awesome Clutch for stock clutches making 700 horsepower and 600 torque. Uh, that's that's amazing for stock, uh, basically uh, stock clutches. And then we added that oil pan to basically add more. It comes with the oil fluids also as a cooler. It added a cooler. So this basically best upgrade for the stock clutches and what this car can make this kind of power. And 90% of the cars are driving on the street right now. It's just too much power. You don't need to make more. Anyway, so the motor, uh, the owner himself, he wants to make more, more power uh, for the car. The mod the car we put on to this car, capable to make more power. But is it safe for the engine? I would say no, uh, because just 700 horsepower. I would personally have seen a lot of people that he can make close, like I uh, say, like to 800, but for the stock block. But that's not gonna, it's not gonna last long. If he wants to go next level, I would recommend to basically fully build the motor and you do a ported head and and that would take it to next level basically. Uh, we did actually uh, the cooling system. The cooling system is uh, by CSF, uh, top cooling uh, uh, cooler. Uh, we also actually changed the heat exchanger from Danian. Uh, that basically keeping the car cold. Um, it's very working pretty pretty good and also this car has a, a, a cold intake system that also keeps uh, uh, the airflow for the keep basically feeding the turbos uh, basically for high flow turbos for big turbos basically and then uh, and then also we upgrade the suspension for that car we added up uh, KW Club Sport for that car it's they are awesome like um, I had a V3 in my personal car a KW V3s and then it's a lot of different like the handling and the damping it's everything is different for the Club Sport so that's my next basically uh, upgrade for my personal car is just okay the clubs were if they have it available of course yeah and then also we updated the the, the exhaust system so we did of course the, the downpipe to for the high flow uh, to keep up basically the flow out for the downpipe and also we added up uh, the mid pipe from active auto works and also Danian exhaust so that car just sounds so good that people is like oh my god what do you have what do you have in that car like why it sounds so different than uh, any regular m3 on fours or m2s with that motor you know it's just because the turbine is it has this turbo has bigger turbine wheels it has a bigger compressor wheel so the turbine wheels it, it adds up that spool like you just you can hear the turbos because and also plus we added up the mid pipe and, and the exhaust you can really hear the turbos uh, that car is so enjoyable like uh, the owner was impressed like oh my god when I deliver the car to him he's like so like, oh my god oh, this is my car now he's like I'm like yes so enjoy the driving it's just that's um, I'm really uh, for BMWs um, I can say I can build any BMW not just I mean for the new generation direct injection upgrading turbos upgrading a lot of stuff with these cars I'm really I have all that knowledge